Hey there, travelers! I'm ready for the big game! I got my big flat screen TV. I got a ton of snacks. I just need to find somebody to watch it with. I know! Some of the hardest of hardcore sports fans are bears! I'm gonna call up some of my bear friends and see if they wanna come watch with me. Oh. Black bear? Oh. You're hibernating? Alright, have a good sleep. Hey, Grizzly Bear? Hey, you wanna come over for the... You're sleeping? Fine, fine. Good night. Oh, I know! Kodiak Bear! K Kodiak, it's, it's been a while, huh? Do you wanna come watch the... Sleeping? Hyperne... Alright. Alright, go bears. Ugh! All my bear friends are hibernating for the winter! Who am I gonna watch the game with? I think I know of a bear that doesn't hibernate in the winter. This week we're gonna talk about the panda bear. At first glance, it would seem that the panda bear resembles the bear. But if you take a closer look, the panda bear actually has a closer affinity to the raccoon. Despite this, the panda bear still belongs to the bear family, Ursidae. Now pandas are some of the cutest, cuddly, most beautiful animals in the whole world. They're most well known for that black and white fur and those black eye patches. I went uh, 12 rounds with Johnny and I only got one black eye. Who'd he get mad to get two? No one. Pandas are actually very docile in nature. The black patches come from their fur and are most likely useful for anti-glare from the sun and snow. Now something cool about the panda is of all the members of the Ursidae family, only sloth bears have a longer tail than the panda. But I'll tell you one thing they have bigger than any carnivore. It's their molar teeth. The panda's lower jaw has an extra molar, which can get very expensive if it needs replaced. Check out this x-ray. Very expensive indeed. Those strong jaws are capable of crushing bamboo up to four centimeters in diameter. Approximately 99% of a panda's diet, which is mainly bamboo leaves and shoots, have little to no nutritional value. Ugh! By eating foods with low nutritional value, you'll just end up being fat and lazy! Ugh! That's correct, Workout Trav, because they can't digest the cellulose that is found in bamboo. The panda lives a very sedentary lifestyle, but still persists on eating up to 60 different species of bamboo. Despite being classified as a flesh eater, the panda bear mainly eats the stems, leaves, and fresh young shoots of bamboo. Today's special is a chef's choice of flame broiled meat with... Oh, you're just gonna have the bamboo again. I see. How adventurous. Pandas have a big appetite. They have to eat up to 30 pounds a day, which can take up to 16 hours. Are you almost done with the bamboo buffet? We closed eight hours ago! And they have to work for their food. Despite living such a sedentary lifestyle, they're actually really good climbers and great swimmers. The giant panda bear will climb up to 4,000 meters so that they can eat in the summer seasons. <sighs> Whenever a panda gets tired, it will just stop wherever it is and fall asleep. They don't have a specific bed that they go back to. <sighs> I am so tired. But my bed is so far away! Eh, this'll do. Unfortunately, travelers, the giant panda is on the brink of extinction. With only about a thousand giant pandas left in the wild, scientists are hoping that they can increase that population to 5,000. By 2025, the giant panda has been on the endangered species list since about 1990, the most significant threats to pandas are habitat loss and poaching. China is only a little bit bigger than the United States by about 5%, but they have over four times the population. 
Thanks for checking us out this week, Travelers. This week's honorary traveler is Traveler Jim, who wrote in to travelers at trapstravels.org and requested the giant panda. Thanks, Jim. And if you're as cool as Jim, make sure to email us and let us know what conservation effort or animal you want to learn more about. If you want to know what a panda uses that tail for, or how it's a symbol of peace in China, make sure to visit TravsTravels.org or visit our Facebook and Twitter page. Keep on traveling. I could be a fighter. I could be a fighter.